Welcome back, Stasis 23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and today I have one from Sincut. This was sent to me by Sincut, just to be transparent here. Uh, let's check this out. Sorry, I didn't get to do the full unboxing because it came in an Amazon package, so my daughter opened it instead. So this is going to be my first time seeing the knife at least, so y'all will get my first initial impressions. This is the Sin Cut, what is that, Honoris? Um, let's check it out. This is a new offering from Sin Cut. Uh, I just did an unboxing of one that I checked out, and this one kind of uh, piqued my interest. Um, I think, yeah, they call it gray, kind of looks like a black micarta. I made a suggestion to them because they asked, they always want to hear feedback and I, I told them that unfortunately I thought the micarta looked a little cheap I would love for them to use more of the American style micarta so we'll see let's see oh I love these yeah oh wow this thing's got beautiful action now this was sent to me by Sin Cut. so like Nick Shabazz says this could be the absolute best quality controlled uh, version of this knife that is out there so just keep that in mind um, nice but this was sent to me from their Amazon store it looks like so I don't know unless they have somebody to hand pick it there uh, super lightweight look at that internal milling in there this thing is a featherweight and man the action on this thing is nice I mean a lot of their Knives are um, well dialed in, but this one, this one has a nice smooth closing. That that uh, opening hole, love this. I thought this was an attractive looking design. Uh, I, I, to be honest, I thought that they really kind of needed to step it up. And I understand the Sin Cut is their most budget form of their knives. But I just thought with the designs they were kind of lacking. This was my favorite so far from last year, the Sin Cut Scepter. So there's a size comparison there. And let's get a comparison from their sister company. You got the Civivi Riffle. So it's it's about the same size. Yeah, it's it's almost identical in length to the uh, Civivi Riffle. Um, I will say that, yeah, right off the back that this one is way lighter feeling than the Riffle. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorites from Civivi, especially in the 14C28N. Excellent knife, but we're not talking about that one. We're talking about this new, I, I don't want to pronounce it wrong, Norris. Um, I think this is in, let's see, I don't want to. Yeah, there it is. 9CR 18MOV, which uh, I found they've done, you know, excellent job. This thing feels super thin. Let's check it out. This is not a review. This is just a first impressions. I will do a full review on the uh, two Sin Cut knives that I've gotten recently and do a full review and testing on both of them. So if that's what you're interested in seeing, stay tuned. There's no way. Hold on. I'm not getting this right. Let's see. Right there. 14,000. Yeah, that's what I thought. And I'm I'm doing that behind the camera, so let's just keep it there. I will I'll do it again for the full review of this knife. Uh the Ergos initially feel excellent. I feel really locked in because the blade kind of goes up a little bit. So I got a place to put my thumb there. And this little guard area really god it locks me in good you don't need the jimping right there you got a nice flat love how the the handle kind of tapers down right here goes in that downward motion and it definitely flows nicely um, I don't have the other sin cut handy to compare it size wise sorry about that I just literally got back from Idaho visiting my son my daughter-in-law and grandkids so 
there you go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. Stay tuned if you're interested in seeing more about this knife and the testing. And I hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.